Hello, hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jaden, and today I am finally back to creating long form content here on YouTube. It has been a minute. I've been going through some life changes with work lately. It's been crazy. It's been just like a roller coaster ride, which I probably will get to in another video, but not quite ready to talk about it yet. So instead, we're gonna distract ourselves with some online shopping finds. And what better way to do that than to show you guys the haul I just did with Abercrombie. Honestly, they have the best spring and summer items in right now, and I went a little bit ham. So figured might as well share it with you guys. I'll, as always, I'll have like everything I'm talking about in this video as well, linked in the description box below, along with all of my sizing information so you guys can reference that. I do try to talk about it as I share the item, but sometimes the space is my mind. So if I forget to say it in the video, head down to the description box. I'll include it there along with a direct link to shop for each of the items as well. And then of course, just as a reminder, like I do in all of my videos, if you do shop through any of my links, I do get a very small commission for that. So thank you from the very, very bottom of my heart in doing that. It means the absolute world to me to know that I can inspire you and help you find pieces that you can see in your closet as well. And it also just shows me that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out. So I'm so excited for today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, first up, we're gonna talk about this baby tee bodysuit. This is part of Abercrombie's Soft Aff collection. I actually own this exact bodysuit in the tank top version in white as well, but I've been really into the baby tee. I feel like it's very feminine looking. There's lots of different ways that you could style this as well, and it's just very flattering as well, especially on a woman's arm. I feel like it just stops at the right length to make your arms look like a little bit more toned, which, we all love in the summertime. We need that. So really, really like this. And in all honesty, this is like one of the softest bodysuits I've ever worn. I don't find it uncomfortable to wear it throughout the day. It's not like riding up in places that we don't want it to be, which is a big deal too. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for a new bodysuit. This is by far my bodysuit. I own it in tons of colors in the tank top version. This is my first one in the t-shirt, but I honestly think I might try to go get it in a black and maybe a fun color for the summer as well, just depending on what colors they have available in my size. I did get a medium in this. I do have a little bit of a longer torso and I'm a 32D in my bra size as well. So I feel like the medium fits me a little bit better, but I would say they run pretty true to size, so get whatever size that you normally get. And then I got these denim shorts. I am obsessed with Abercrombie denim. Their jeans are by far my favorite jeans that I own in my closet. Pretty much religiously all that I wear because they fit me the best throughout my waist, butt, and thighs. They have a Curve Love brand or like style, and that is what fits me the best. It fits so well, it's so flattering, I absolutely love it. And these shorts are super stinking cute. I struggle so hard with finding shorts and I know I'm not the only woman who does. There are so many people on the internet who talk about how hard it is to find shorts, but I feel like Abercrombie has the best options. So I really was drawn to these because I liked this little slit here on the side. I felt like that would be really comfortable throughout my thighs. My issue is that I have a gymnast body. So I have a smaller waist, but I have a big old booty and I have thicker thighs because they're muscular, which there's nothing to be ashamed about. I absolutely love my lower half. I don't mind that it's a little bit bigger, but it is sometimes hard to find clothes that fit well. And I feel like Abercrombie does a really good job with that. So I was really drawn to these because of that. I did get a size 29 in these ones. I got one other denim short that I got a size 28 in because I wasn't quite sure what size was gonna work best for me. And honestly, that's okay. In jeans, I wear a size 28. So I was kind of thinking that I was gonna do that, but I grabbed the 29 just to see what they felt like. The 28 definitely fits better. Um, these are comfortable, but you can kind of see it's a little too big. So it's like pinching and gapping right here in the butt, which is not a cute look, but I do love the waist, or not the waist, the length. I do love the length in these. They're really great. They're not too long. They're not too short. They're very flattering. So if you are a mom or someone on a little bit on the older side, this is a great option for you too. 
They do have a little extra room here, so I think that extra size down would be perfect, but I love the color. I love the wash. This is the mom short, and that's the exact style I got in the jean short too, so you guys will see that in just a minute. Okay, and then last up, I want to talk about these shoes before I switch outfits. So I have been wanting a sandal like this that was like strappy and wrapped around your ankle for so long. Guys, I had no idea that Abercrombie had such cute shoe options. Like this whole outfit, so stinking cute. I love the color of brown. These are too. It's not quite super light. It's kind of like a darker chestnut, but I feel like they're going to go with so many outfits this summer. I got my normal seven and a half. They fit great. And they also feel like they have pretty decent cushion. So I think I'll be able to walk around in these throughout this summer and not have sore feet afterwards. I'll keep you guys updated on that, but... I was so excited to find these, such a score, and I'll be wearing them throughout the rest of these videos just so you can kind of see how else I could style them. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I feel so stinking beautiful in this outfit. Like, it is absolutely stunning. But we're gonna talk about this top first. I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna feel about it because a lot of times when I get tops that have sleeves off the shoulder like this, I'm constantly like pulling them up or messing with them because they're just falling down and uncomfortable. However they sewed these on, they need to do it like that on every single other top because it is super comfortable, it doesn't move around, it's staying in place, and I also feel like it's very flattering. I literally want to buy this top in every single color it comes in. It's so stinking cute. This is just a knitted line. It's not actual... Um, it's not like a hard material versus a boning. That's what I was looking for. There is boning material right here on the side, but then the back is like a stretchy material so it's very comfortable it's not too tight i don't feel restricted in it if anything it actually feels a tiny bit big right here and i think that's honestly because i'm not wearing a bra with it i feel like if i had a push-up bra in it would fill this up a little bit more so just something to consider though if you do have like a smaller chest might want to size down this is a medium which is normally what i order in tops like this so i could have probably got away with the small but i'm gonna keep the medium because i like it so want to make sure i keep this so stinking cute it came in black i believe and maybe like a printed color i can't remember exactly but i'll have it linked below so you guys can check out the color options and honestly i wasn't planning on wearing these two pieces together but i think it looks pretty cute honestly like so cute. These are the linen trousers. I don't know if they have a specific name. It doesn't say they have a specific name on the tag here. I got a medium and I'm in the regular length. I'm 5'7 for reference and they're decently long. So just keep that in mind for your height. I believe they did have tall and short options in this if I remember correctly, but these are so flattering. I never hopped on the train of the trousers when they were going super popular this like fall and winter for Abercrombie selection they had. But when I saw this lavender color, I'm like obsessing over it right now for spring. I have to grab it. Love it. I love the pleating right here. It's like really, really minimal, but I feel like it's very flattering for like a small waist and like just like stretching down the legs, which is super nice. Also, you guys, every time I do videos, whew, I get so out of breath. Like I work out. I should not be this out of breath, but here we are. So if you hear me huffing and puffing, it's just, it is what it is. Anywho, back to the pants. They're super flattering. Um, I got a medium, like I said, which is normally what I get. They are a little bit bigger, but I like that. I like that they're loose. I did not want them to be tight. That was my one thing. So I would suggest getting your true to size. If you want them a little bit tighter, maybe go down a size since they do run naturally a little bit bigger, but Highly, highly recommend these. Again, they are like a linen blend, so they're a little bit more lightweight, which will be perfect for spring and summer so you don't feel like you're overheating. Okay, up next, I got this gorgeous little mini dress. It has pockets, which if you know me, I love a good dress with pockets, which is awesome. The print is absolutely stunning. It's kind of like a leaf print, I would say, and I really love the olive green color. It's picking up really true to color on camera right now too, so you guys can see what that looks like. It's kind of like a fit and flare style, so it fits tighter up here, flares out to like a mini dress, and it's a really great length. Like, it's nice and long in the back, so you don't have to worry about flashing anyone. Um, I got a size medium, which again is normally what I wear. This is way too big, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to exchange it. Hopefully, they have a size small still left, but guys, like, this baby is, she's not staying up. Like, I'm a little worried, like, if I, like, suck in at all, she don't fall down, like... <laughs> 
too big on me, which is kind of makes you feel good, but also unfortunate because I wish I would have ordered the right size. So hoping that they have a size small available. It is kind of that like ruched back material and then it zips up as well, but I think that has something to do with why it fits a little bit looser maybe than other styles of Abercrombie dresses I've worn in the past where I've worn a medium. So just something to consider, but I do love this little detail right here smallest detail but the fact that it folds over it just adds a layer of detail and element and I feel like it makes it look so much more high-end and just like dressy this would be great for a summer wedding summer date night I don't know whatever you think lots of good options for it and I love how the sandals pair with it I'm not much of a heel girl because my husband isn't that much taller than me so I love when I can find a pair of sandals I can dress up or down and I feel like these are definitely going to be my sandal of the summer so super excited for those okay last up we have these denim shorts so like I said these are the same exact shorts as the black ones that I tried on first for you guys so they're the mom short this is the size 28 the black ones were the size 29. So you can see already they fit a little bit tighter throughout the bum. I no longer have that like gapping and like bunching up right here. And they fit a lot better throughout the waist as well. They're not so much as long here. They obviously do fit a little bit tighter throughout my thigh, which I don't know, you pick and choose what you want. There's never gonna probably be a short that fits like absolutely perfect on you. But in my opinion, I like these better. They don't feel constricting around my thighs by any means. They're just a little bit tighter. And I feel like, again, this little slit right here really helps so they're not like suctioning at the part of your thigh that you hate the most. So really, really like these. I absolutely love the medium wash and the fact that they're not like super distressed or ripped. I feel like I can get, I can get a lot of good use out of these and dressing them up or down throughout the summer, which will be really nice. And then this little cropped sweater is actually, it is from Abercrombie. I didn't order it on this past haul. I got it earlier this year. It's part of their activewear collection. I think it's like Y... RB or something I probably should have looked before I put it on but it's part of whatever the name of their activewear collection is I'm obsessed with it it reminds me so much of Lululemon or from Aritzia whatever their like athletic wear brand is too like the material is very very similar to that and I love the cut of it it like is cropped here and then comes down and has a little slit so it's like boxy but not like ugly boxy looking. I'm not kidding guys. I get so many compliments every time I wear this. So I'm going to see if they still have this available or maybe some like very similar options that I can link for you because favorite cropped sweater of all time. It looks good with like every outfit. Like I've worn this with dresses. I've worn it with skirts. I wear jean shorts. I wear it with leggings. Like literally my favorite sweater of all time. If something ever happens to this, I'm going to be so sad. So I got a size medium because I wanted to make sure it did have an oversized look and I absolutely love it. So looks cute with jean shorts and sandals too. Alrighty guys. And that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little Abercrombie haul. I know I enjoyed shopping for it. They have so many cute pieces for spring and summer and there were tons of things too that I didn't end up buying just because I got to stay on a little bit of a budget. But I will obviously again link everything below in the description box if you are interested in shopping. If you do end up grabbing anything from this haul, be sure to comment below and let me know what you got so I can personally thank you for helping to support me. It literally means the world to me, you guys, anytime you shop through my links. Like it just makes me feel so giddy inside. So please let me know if you buy anything from today's haul. But if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hang out a little longer, and get notified anytime that I upload a video. I would love to be friends. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.